All right. Well, you know the drill. I'm Song Hacker, and I'm going to be hosting uh, TMS2 over in the uh, loser side, www.twitch.tv songhacker, FF. So I'm going to go ahead and head over there now. We're going to get things started. See ya. I wasn't sure if you'd come by. I have trained years for this. You will not dissuade me. Really? A fan of uh, all fighting games. Oh, they both. <laughs> all right. Dead Dead versus Floor. All you did, they both uh, opt to tell a C backwards up and get it. It's like a cloud gentleman's limit charge there. I mean, look at me talk about Smash in, in a uh, traditional fight. I love Smash too, though. Can't wait for Ultimate. All right. Dandar getting the. Uh, uh, beginning pressure, but does not convert, allows Floor to tech out. And good that Floor was uh, holding the button. Regained their uh, composure quickly. Punishes the read, or rather, uh, Dandar just kind of gets caught reading while a projectile is in play. But uh, Floor making good good use of the ranged gameplay right now. He's not able to take advantage of the ground bounce. Dandar is getting the uh, J2Cs in right now. And Floor uh, starting to play a little safer. Does not punish the teleport or the. Uh, the window that you have. Very good use of Magic Spark. I wonder if they were listening to me. It's not the same matchup, but uh, uh, Magic Spark is a underutilized tool for a uh, beginner, uh, beginner. I almost said beginner floors for beginner <laughs> oleanders. Uh, Magic Spark is very strong, as is Chapter Trap. So you don't want to waste too much on teleport. Those are better for mid-range mix-ups. All right. Speaking of teleport, Magic Teleport right in. Uh, doesn't get punished too hard for it. Does, he does eat a 2C, though. Right, starting up a zoning war now. Floor on the advantage side. Ooh, probably should have gone for a uh, normal pressure. But, uh, didn't get punished for that Eric uh, fireball. I don't know which fell spark it was. There's, there's no way I'm going to be able to tell you guys which fell spark it is. I, I mean, I know that there's different speeds and stuff, but I don't always remember which one's which between like B e and C. That was probably A. <laughs> the rest of the match, I'm just going to call which fell spark it is. Fell spark A, fell spark B. <laughs> probably wrong. Anyways. <laughs> All right, so Dandar's setting up a bit of a wall, using a lot of magic on chapter traps. Uh, I guess it could work. They got in. They didn't get caught by any projectiles. But uh, Zandar not having uh, the combos right now to take advantage of their uh, their hits. Not, not, Flora doesn't seem to have uh, big ones either. All right, there we go. Ooh, already used your ground bounce. All right, does not make himself safe on the 2C, and Flora puts a small punish in. All right, trying to do an air to air with the uh, JC. Big move. Uh, J2, JC has bigger horizontal presence, whereas J2C has just bigger all-around coverage. Good anti-air with 2B, but wasn't ready to convert. Uh, I think Launcher would have converted fine, but it's perfectly fine as Floor takes the match. Good poise, good presence of mind. I'm probably about to take a loss to Arcanel in, in a moment. So we'll see. I have been working on the TN matchup. I, I did a lot better against some strong TNs. Uh, I did strong Fred, better alive. against Tailnick, but uh, Tailnick it does one. not have Fight. quite the damage that Arcanel has. Hmm. And Arcanel has been working on their neutral. Anyways, that match is not now. The now is the Oleander Ditto between Fleur and Dandar. And Fleur again starting off with the advantage, putting out the uh, slow projectiles to cover the advance of Dandar. Dandar gets in, is not able to uh, keep things going. Does get some reading go uh, going without getting punished. And always, as always, reading without getting punished is one of the biggest things that only the players have to learn. Uh, uses their meter a little early, gets getting the damage, but not. You definitely want to try to save up for Fred if you can. Lander does have okay damage meterless. It just takes some time to learn it. I said okay. It's not great. Uh, most of our moves do not hit too hard. J2C being one of the few ones that has a pretty well it used to have pretty decent damage. A lot of a lot of good damage per ratio, but not anymore, as it's been uh, nerfed. Alright, good job with the 2C and a launcher. That's how you do it. Getting the hit with 2C. 2C being a pretty strong poke for uh, Oleander. Uh, you gotta make it safe if it does get blocked, but you have options. <laughs> Just air to airs with JA right off the bat. I like it. <laughs> J2C is over the projectile. 
still, still no huge advantage. Good conversion, but isn't able to connect with JC. So I guess good conversion is a little bit of a little bit of a strong phrase, but it, but it was a good attempt. All right, now Dandar getting it started. Still doesn't have the meter for Fred, and now, now Floor has all the meter in the world. So uh, unless we start seeing some meter stealing from Dandar, it's, it's uh, probably gonna turn. The tides are gonna turn. <laughs> All right, tries to read, uh, Dandar comes in, but there's no, no real punish. Gets the cross up, the classic. Fireball to teleport. All right, now, Dandar coming in with the teleports, had, had four, but was using JA. You gotta consider using JB instead. It's quick, and it, it goes to that downward. It is designed for the, uh, the mix-ups to get you started. Player two, really but yeah, good stuff for KO. you came out on top of this Ollie Ditto. Uh, Janine, what's the next match? Nick, Nick versus Mayor. All right, cool. Fine, but let's so, make it quick. Arkanel took a two All right, Nick's Brass versus Mayor. Mayor, very strong pap. Nick's Brass and uh, up and coming Oleander. Gets the low, but doesn't convert. Now Nick's Brass has the uh, combo pressure. Doesn't jump in. May have been a m missed input. Right. And again, it drops on both sides. All right. The <laughs> I guess that's a shimmy. Wasn't as fast as a like a dash in dash out shimmy, but uh, it did work. Got the punish. All right. Nick's Brass drops a combo. Mayor pops out and is. Putting, oof, putting uh, Nick Brass in the corner, but <laughs> jumps in too far. Alright, blocks the J2C. And now the neutral is restored. Good to be uh, into air attempt. A little too late, but it's okay because they are blocking anyway. Does not convert off the overhead. Didn't have the magic to put out a trapper trap, though. The only real conversion I think would have been uh, just going into super. But they had the meter to go into super. So, missed opportunities. But Mayor will not be missing his opportunity. Doesn't get the hit as uh, I think uh, Nick Brass was still in uh, uh, invincible animation from the cover, from the tech roll. But that's okay because the whole time I was saying that Mayor just comboed Nick Brass into Oblivion for the first round. Floor, yes. Uh, <laughs> you you don't necessarily know you're gonna lose to Jaeger or unless you already have. But yes, you need to. Uh, if you have lost twice, we would appreciate if you leave TMS2. Um, but stay on the stream, because we would we'd like to have people watching. 21 viewers, by the way. Thank you, all 21 of you. All 20 of you plus me. Thank me again. Mayor's got the, uh... Well, it's, it's not going to be a 50-50. Kind of kind of messes it up? I'm not exactly sure. Might have some... Ooh, doesn't mess that up. The trap totally works. I say 50-50, but Path actually has a number of different options. So you just uh, low, meaty low, uh, same side short hop JC or JB, same side uh, or cross up short hop JC JB, or command grab or normal grab. But why would you go for normal grab when you can do an untackable command grab? So that is her wake up options off a of super. And uh, gonna spend the bar for level two. He does have the round, so he goes out again. Doesn't hit, but the chip damage from all the uh, broccoli is pretty strong. Good cross caner. Does it again if he can hit him with something. Do not use a normal or do not use a light. Oh, I wasn't blocking the right side. Even though we all know that Pap. Uh, will look to the side of the screen she comes from. Every now and then you will forget and you will block the wrong way. As we say every stream, the strongest commentary tech is to make sure you spectate, at least for this game, for TFH. This would be the first game I've ever really... Well, we tried a little bit with Skullgirls, but I wasn't as up on the no for Skullgirls things. Uh, so I definitely was in that game a little bit too early. Um, Skullgirls is a great game. This game is made on the Z engine. Thank you, Lab Zero, so much for everything you did for me, says. Alright. Same side teleport. Tries for a mix up. And uh, I'm not sure if Nick. Actually, he probably should have just goes for. Uh, I'm not sure if Nick Brass knew about the cross up mix up. Well, actually, the cross up mix up is a lot stronger on the, on the super because if you. Uh, I think the super goes through people even when they block it. 
so uh, you can get the uh, the hit off the second hit of modded plane. And uh, you'll see some of those from Sack Tap if you manage to watch the combo break footage. Uh, just uh, a little spoiler, I blocked them. <laughs> Alright, tries to punish the uh, the runaway, but Mayor gets away with it. Here we go, and that's exactly what I'm talking about, but he uh, is able to change his block on time for the second hit. As Mayor wasn't ready to take advantage of the first hit, but it didn't matter. Round two. So I'm trying to look at the stream too, and I think some of the comments I'm looking at for like the, the last, the last uh, match between these two goes for the uh, mix-up again. And uh, Nick Brass probably definitely blocking in the direction of the potted plant, not in the direction of the free kick. All right, tries tries to throw. I like the uh, the presence of mind for the possibility of teching, but uh, Mayor was actually playing some decent footsies there. Punish the throw. And uh, gets the uh, goes for the teleport out of the basket, but outside of any replenishment, it didn't really get much from it. I believe it does replenish your magic. I, I don't know how that completely works. I'm not a not that man, so I forget how the magic punishment works. People in stream, please correct me. <laughs> Anytime I say something wrong, Seriously? it's your boy wrong hacker. All right, good, good safety. And the uh, chat to trap works as temporary deterrent for for the round. Uh, not, it's, it's, just, it's pretty effective on, on path. Path uh, has got to move around the ground a lot. Right there, that safety was was in there. I think it actually uh, the JC actually clanked with the uh, chat to trap in that case. Nick Brass uh, we're living on a prayer with the chip being all that Mayor needs. Ooh, there was an opportunity there. If he'd used uh, J2C, slower move using JB was smart. This is the opportunity he needs. Doesn't go forward. Again, I have to wonder if that's an, a miss, uh, miss input on the jump. Trying to play really safe, gonna get chipped out. And uh, Nick Brass needed to be a little bit more offensive. That combo was the last chance, really. Good stuff, though. They, they definitely showed, you know, they showed their spirit. Uh, the way I'm positioned in bracket usually as a, as a mid, upper mid tier player, I do tend to get my first two matches. Ready? But we'll, I don't want to underestimate anybody. Oops. Do not. Oh, sorry for the uh, the phone noise there. Somebody is trying to call me. It's my boy. No advancing for you. We get a little bit. Ooh, my throw was mistimed. Mmm, no conversion for me. I have been getting a lot better at my usage of air throws. Uh, but uh, I am getting predictable with them too, so people are checking. Alright, now it's time for me to play. Not a mix up, he says. Oops, I did not have enough to use magic for a 5D there. Let's see what happens. Good punish. And that's it. You may have my autograph now. I actually forgot he had meter. I, would, I thought I thought it was just gonna get away with that free. Here. Are you prepared for magnificence? Round one. Fight! Nope. Did you slip? 
pressure of uh, Icicle C gives Velvet a pretty strong grab game, despite the fact that she does need the Icicle for conversion. Watching, we welcome you to comment in chat. I will try to watch the chat from time to time. Uh, I wasn't dying fast enough. Uh, a blaze and a lot of better velvets will uh, they will uh, convert off of eruption with uh, with a slight to be. That's that's fine. It's over now. I was gonna ship out with super. I mean, yeah. They did have plenty of meter, or well, they had a meter, but that, that was super chip. And that is the everything. Me versus Amaron, awesome. Well, well. We just went on a, a tear yesterday. Tough because he knows my habits. <laughs> Never seen perfection before. Ready? Fight. Wonderful! Shadow Spark! Shadow! Got it! I am no weakling! I was not walking. Shadow Spark! Got it! Lose your face! I do. I had magic before. I just didn't do it. Shadow Spark! Freddy magic today. I thought... I don't know what I thought there, but I could jab it out. Oh, that one I'll block. I got caught in my dash. In. Not good, he's got too many to gonna finish this out. Come on, me. I can do this. I can beat him. It's very even, although he had the edge at the end. That'll work. Ooh, I did not have the meter I thought I had. That's alright, I guess. Not optimal. Ooh, empty teleport low. I was not expecting the low. Yes! No! No punish. I still save me. Nice. Uh, I tried to push block that. That is not a low block. Set. That is a low block set move. I guess. I'm gonna get fretted. Yeah, this could be the end of the match. Yes. Yes. Die. Uh, I really wanted an air throw or, or maybe an attack. So now you're trying to beat me. Fred. That was close. Man, I really hope I don't lose this. Obviously I hope I don't lose this, but this is what you happens to me every here. tourney. I win my first two and then I lose the uh I lose well, I win one, lose one, win one, lose one. It's not not good. Ready? Fight. Die. Me expecting an air throw. Nah, not enough for that combo. I'll get two of those. Ah, uh, I can't block overheads. Got it. Ooh, smart. You knew my habits there. To me, also, uh, I don't know. I don't want John's <laughs> John's on stream. Round two. He's just adapted. Fight. Did not burst. Did 
not tech, rather. We'll get the meter from this. Wisely, not. Chance to read. Uh, feels bad, man. I just got magic sparks too. Got it. Man, this guy, he knows. He knows exactly what I'm doing. Hello, I'm Fred. I haven't won around yet. Can't. I really want to challenge. It's just I don't want to be stuck here forever against Fred. Uh, I was supposed to be an icicle. Candle, one of the uh, top Arizonas, for sure, along with Bubble Boots. Uh, we haven't seen a lot of Richter Belmondo recently, another strong one that had a good showing at the beginning of Early Access. But you know what, this, is, this game's actually Richter. becoming a part of my real life. I'm trying to really? go out and do stuff more. Can't go to CEO, unfortunately. Anyways, they back, start uh, with a respectful back off on both ends. And uh, Candle takes two 2Cs, two but Moonballers advance. Suspect with all the uh, the dashing. Right, he gets punished by another 2C, but this time plows through one with his uh, magic head. Back. Gets the uh, full hop or short. Yeah, full hop JC. Might have been a super jump. I forget which one the super jump sometimes. Ooh, misses the headbutt. That could have been the uh, end of the round. And the JC hits, but. It hits uh, the magic headbutt. Palm though flying right over it. Good blocks, but decides to jump and isn't blocking the unblockable 6B. Yes, we like to do our dumb little community memes. 6B not actually unblockable. 6B being uh, Arizona's overhead elbow. That she she does from a stand. It looks like it's a short hop move, but it's actually just a from standing move. All right, Moonballer has the uh, the corner. Palm in the corner. Is she gonna call Mama? She does. Her palm does. Nice. Catches him with another JC. The key to playing Palm is to make sure, you, like JC is a super strong move that'll help you keep the pressure, but you can't just rely on. It. And uh, speaking of not being able to completely rely on things, so don't rely so much on your unsafe strings if uh, people have invincible reversals. Good blocking! No meter for a candle to go into a frame trap there. It doesn't end up mattering as new ballers get beaten down in the corner. A light stomp to keep the pressure going. And candle will take this round. Uh, a lot of players these days, a lot of stronger players who are used to having their matches being commentated and being streamed, uh, they, they usually know it's like, oh wait, the, uh, the spectator's not in, we gotta wait. Round one. Fight. Right, let's see if Moonballer can make the adaptation. Again, offs to back away, heavy stomp too far away to work. But once again, using good ropes, gets a 6B. And the... just challenges with buttons! <laughs> Sometimes that's the way to go. Ooh, gets caught by a headbutt. No, uh, no rope conversion there for Candle. Alright, Moonballer taking Candle to the corner. Sends Mama Dog away. And now, right now, with the, without the dogs, the pressure isn't quite as strong, but still gets opened up by JC. Right, now the ground dog is in play. And this time, the pressure is real. As the, uh, the low hit of the ground dog totally opens up Candle from the following JC. The, d the all of the armor of uh, I believe it was magic headbutt uh, was taken out by the various hits. 
and Moomala broke through and Tix took, took the round. Tix took the round. Tried to snipe out a, a jump there, and Moomala are starting to catch on to Candle's uh, Candle's game. I won't say predictable, but catching on to some of the some of the things that he's doing. Block 6B. Good stuff. I don't know the speed of that overhead. Um, it's, it's not. I think it's 20 frames. It's not that fast. It's just overheads online. People. I mean, people block. Don't block. They can shatter C, which is slow as hell. Probably the, the slowest standing overhead. And again, punishing the stomp. Uh, one of the things. I mean, just JC being a good enough move that once you're in the air, you see the stomp, just punish it. You're, you're usually close enough. Moonball are taking this match. I guess I don't know my own strength. It is now 1-1. One -one. wins. Rematch? Do I have to be If here? I had to say which character I like more, probably Round Palm because one. of the distance. She, and just uh, something about the, uh, the animations Palm has. I think Palm's animations are a little bit, a little bit stronger than Arizona's. A little bit more fluid. Arizona, I guess a little, a little bit chalkier? Maybe not. I don't know. I just like Palm a little bit better. Although, although the magic options of can of uh, not can well candles candles are real life magic options. Uh, the magic options of Arizona are really cool, uh, but you know they you have to have those ropes. Oh, and they counter a little too late. She might have gotten it through the J. Probably would have gotten it through the JC pressure, but or too early rather. Six B gets the ground bounce and is converting. Drops a combo, but it's okay. Mess with the cow, you get the horns. Round two, fight. All right, another back away from both players. New ball putting out a JC. This time the heavy stomp just barely connects. And Candle now has the pressure, getting some magic in. Has one meter off the one rope. New ball is gonna have to keep all of this. Lots of damage on the uh, the low health palm. And the uh, it's a full hop reset that you can apparently duck out of. I, I've seen you can use this a bunch lately. I think that was a perfect comeback after losing the last match. Very, very strong. This time we managed to get 30 people. All, always a 32 player cap, but due to people not understanding, despite what we tell them, there are always people that don't end up getting checked in or registered or whatever. Um, or being in the Discord so we can notify them of things. And in this case, uh, one of the stronger paps was uh, not able to be a part of the tournament they had registered for. But that is tough luck, we do tell everybody. Anyways, back to the match. Candle dominating Ithi right now. Ithi getting a JD. Gets, keeps the pressure going with two stops. Candle not blocking. And Ithi, uh, well, couldn't keep it going right there because he already used his ground bounce, but well known for uh, stomp loops. Both players uh, do go for stomp loops from time to time, but Ithi really likes to go for them. We'll see how that, gets, how that is in turning. Reset does not work on Candle, or on Yiffy. Uh, I think it was a mistake. I don't know if uh, Yiffy actually tried to, like, tuck his way out of it. And the safe chip right there from the Magic Headbutt closes out the round. Alright. Dashes away from the Magic Headbutt. Heavy Stomp misses. 6B gets in there. Now it's Yiffy's turn. Taking the corner, getting some stomps in, but drops the combo. This is with the grab, and now Candle's turn. Gets his magic. Blocking the JC, but does not block 6B. Wow, Oscar, Josh, and I'll say they were able to connect. <laughs> awesome. I, I really hate it when the internet gets it. Uh, no, but uh, he was telling me just before to just give him the loss, give him the L. So he's already officially <laughs> out? Yeah. That, um, you hate to see that kind of thing happen. And and <laughs> silly esports, like, tropes aside, you really do hate to see that kind of thing happen. It sucks. Well, anyways, Candle 
taking a uh, quick, quick match lead. And we will go into match number two. Currently 1-0 candle. Very specifically calling out training stage. Uh, a lot of players uh, have issues with the uh, other stages having uh, a little bit more lag, a little bit more demand on the game. Just a little bit. But it can be enough at a higher level of play. And uh, if he does like to do, again, those stomp loops, which can be, uh, can be pretty tough, because those are jump cancels. But that's not real. I keep saying that. That's not really been a factor. Probably just going for a safe uh, combo routes. And he's less likely to drop. Very good grab on the counter. Not sure if he was scouting the counter out or just going for that reset in general. Uh, two magic stocks on Candle's side if he just used up one of his. Oof. Just still off the ground. Ah, it looks like he was listening to me. <laughs> I was going to say giving the crowd a show, but now he's get, giving the crowd a show in the form of a beatdown. Specifically him getting beatdown. Round two. I love it when it's not me on stop loops, because, you know, it's like, <laughs> everybody loves that. It's just, you know, again, if you're the one getting comboed, that sucks. Ooh, nice short hop, just waiting for Candle's option, and Candle's option was to try to punish a backdash. Ropes can get you in trouble. Now, Candle has, well, once again, uses an invincible reversal, says, I don't care about the pressure. If he tries to do the same thing, but Candle not actually doing anything. I don't care about your so-called pressure. I'm hearing right now that Winner's Finals is happening on the other stream. Keep versus Bubble. Not a surprise, but uh, the outcome of that match you know, could be it could go either way. And Yiffy, looking like he's going to take a round, he does. Little victory magic stomp there. That was close. I'm still not good enough in my head. Like I, I won't do victory anything because like I'm not there yet. Now I, 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 I just lost my. Uh, I'd say Amaron is, is like in my league of uh, upper mid tier, and uh, but I lost that match. So again, still not feeling that good about myself to be like, yo, watch me, watch me uh, bounce. All right, a lot of whiffing going on. Trying to open each other up. Blocks to 6B. He wasn't doing anything but blocking. He's blocking high. All right, it's not able to punish the heavy stomp. I think it was the heavy stomp. Yep, medium to heavy. I can't remember if uh, Light and Medium have the, uh, the same animation. Light has the really quick hoof tap, and the Medium uh, has a little bit more of a ground shake. Well, not confusing that one. That's the Magic Stomp. Unblockable on the ground. Don't get your, <laughs> don't get caught on the ground for that one. All right, magic dashes to the other side, putting himself in the corner, but just. Uh, Another reversal right through the unsafe string. Here, that's fine. <laughs> oh, okay, then. <laughs> Candle fresh off his win over there against uh, Yiffy. We'll see how he does against Linkster. Guys, we'll watch uh, Ark vs. the Wino race on vs. Me or next, then. Sounds oh, good. Oh my goodness, did Mubai die? Not a scratch. <laughs> Went in overhead. Coming in hot off the car. Rousey. Rousey. Gonna take it to the corner. Take him. No. All right, doesn't get punished for that unsafe uh, rope there. Gotta remember that 5B is a really good button for Pat now. Yeah, that would have been a long, long reach neck to punish that rope, but it's all right, because Link, uh, Linkster is getting his Groove on right now. Using that cinnamon roll conversion, getting that kissy face, mm -hmm. just chasing down Following the corner. Up. Ops to back away, smart. 
good recognition to push block the very last bit of JC to get it that ring as far away as possible. This won't kill, but... <laughs> what a command okay. throw by <laughs> Goes right in the command, command throw. throw. Yeah. Just gotta remember the command grab got buffed. What was the buff? I actually don't remember that part. Uh, the Juggle K amount that's Real refunded team. got extremely increased, so now that's it refunds right. a I ton. Yeah. Yeah, big for uh, following up. Like, if you, if you choose to end your combo, but catch them right up on the wake up. Oh, yeah. That's way more rewarding to use uh, command grab. Stay in front, Candle still got tied to the K. Ops does not go to, for the cross up, then goes for the cross up next time around. I'd like to see more stomp punishes. A lot of players are using heavy stomp and not getting punished for it at close ranges. Almost punishes. <laughs> almost punishes the, uh, the rope there. Right. I was kind of thinking a cross caner might come there, but whew, just waiting it out. Very smart. What a throw! Completely missing that jump in JC. Kind of gets thrown. <laughs> Probably using right, that push block. Go, yeah. Oh, I thought another command grab was there, and that was the command grab. Got push blocked, right? Oh yeah, that was push blocks. Using jab. Now he was still a block stun though. Uh, using tick throw, uh, jab, and command throw is indeed real. You got to push block that. Get that a hold up back. Uh, didn't he use uh, a medium after that jab, or did he just jab twice? Uh, he jabbed twice and went the command throw. Jab twice. Nice throw from Candle. Get that cross up. That's gonna Ooh. hit. <laughs> the trade still favorable for Linkster. We take trades. Ground bounce. Kizzy face. This won't do it, but the at level two might just finish it out. Does he have enough meter? He does not have enough meter. Oh, not paying attention. Could have gotten rope from Candle there. Ah! Nice defense from Candle, just choosing to wait it out. All oh, right, back from Link. But Candle having the meter if he needed to to frame trap opts for the magic headbutt. The magic headbutt hits. Final round. Fight. What a whip punish on that JC. No follow-up though because of the how close to the ground the was. There's a cinnamon roll extension again. You get massive damage off those cinnamon rolls if you play uh, uh, playing them out like that. Ooh, candle getting open up low, tech rolling into the corner. You gotta remember that if you tech roll, you are. All right, are we gonna see this again? No, this time he it looks like he uh, baited him out, and candle wastes the meter, probably expecting another command for a reset. Yeah, Candle does commit to a lot of reversals. Mm -hmm. We saw a lot of them against Yippy in the last match, but those were hitting. <laughs> what a trip guard! That was a fantastic trip guard. Catching that trip guard it is. It's actually been a while since we've seen Linkster in TMS, hasn't it? Oh, hello. Uh, there's a score update. Race over Mayor has ended. It's true old, true one, true Mayor. Awesome, awesome. So it's Arcano versus Mayor of the Earth right now. Oh, so uh, so Mayor beat Racel again. I'm 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 saying, man, the 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 Pat versus Coming Tina matchup you. that seems to be the thing. Round one, fight. Yeah. I'm just eating the JC candles. Just getting opened up right now. Nice up back. Yeah, command throw misses due to some good up backing from Candle. And Laser is blocking the mess out of these six Bs. Blocks the anti air, but then gets put to the ground. Yeah, try to go for a, a, a late push block there, but gets opened up by the delayed normal speed handle. Ooh, meaty broccoli. Not blocking. Just going for all the gifts. Got two left. <laughs> Actually went for a meaty broccoli there. Oh no! Oh, no. And yeah, and the actual meaty broccoli too. <laughs> Not just the meme. <laughs> I cannot believe you guys don't talk about that. <laughs> Come on, man. You, you know how it, how it is with games. And Lynx is playing it absolutely safe, just going above all those stops, just staying out of that range. I personally would like to see more stomp punishes. Lynx could actually punish stomp uh, using the cross up super. It's over now. Ends up not mattering as, as Lynxster plays it safe. 
And that's definitely a good idea. You really want to play it safe against characters like Arizona that have a lot of burst damage and a lot of reset potential. And a lot of uh, reversal potential, too. Super, that's gonna hit! Can they actually change of... into the 5A to stop it, but... If you're not aware of it, you can't do it. Uh, one of the things you'll notice is that uh, the basket follows along as the screen moves to the corner. <laughs> what a reversal bait! That was amazing! Not able to punish the teleport C and the cross cannon keeps the pressure on for Linkster. Good defense! Oh my goodness, meaty kissy face. Just cross up JB. How long does the basket stay out? Uh, I'm actually not sure, but it's an incredibly oh long time, man. Well, I was just wondering, like, he didn't need it, but uh, he had the extra meter to go into another level two. Does that af affect anything about a pre existing basket? Or I honestly have no idea. That's something to try out. Since it's early access, someone go in there and try it out. Ready? Fight. And right, we just saw, we just heard that Mayor managed to beat Raysol, another strong Tian, so we'll see how he does in this matchup. I've been saying that I think I like the Pat versus Tian matchup. Wanna care to add to that, or do you disagree? I actually like the idea of playing Paprika versus Tina, just because of high fruit, uh, high potted plants, just super jumping with JC and putting a lot of uh, active hitboxes on screen. Yeah, Paprika active hitboxes, much... big, big active hitboxes too. Oh yeah, especially to me things like... Super roll into super just to, to bait things from Tina, like flip and things like that. Yeah, the Arkadale doesn't care right now. He's going into his signature stuff. Uh, and there it is again. You do not want to tech roll backwards into the corner. You want a neutral tech in place so you don't get opened up or thrown. Another tech roll backwards and he just gets caught again. And uh, we'll not get enough meter for the level 2 though. So now he's doesn't seem to actually really need it. No cross cannon, he's gonna eat this. That's round one. Eating every single uh, corner pressure option from Arcanel. You do not want to take pressure from Tina. Just go ahead and use the cross cannon if you can, or push block up back, whatever you need to do to not take that pressure. So, uh, sometimes I've, I've started to notice uh, I can jab my way out of some of the flip stuff. Uh, that seems to be a like velvet it. only kind of thing if it's low enough. If it's low enough. Uh, fly canceling, uh, velvet can actually jab to. <laughs> oh no, it's opened up by trying to short up out. We interrupt this velvet discussion to bring the match back to you. <laughs> it's gonna be a ton of damage here. Arkano is not one shot away from damage. Uh, this won't take earlier. Velvet can actually jab to punish some of the. Uh, Fly cancel pressure from uh, Tina. Oh I did not realize that was a velvet specific thing. Since her 5A actually goes up so high. Huh. Well, I'll, I figured that out on my own. <laughs> you have much to thank, thank God. That's yeah, a really well, good button to challenge Tina with. But, oh my goodness. Was that, a, was that a perfect? That was a that perfect. Wasn't a perfect. That oh wasn't perfect. no. Mayor is going to have to do some adjusting here. Yeah, Mayor is definitely going to start. Like he, he seemed like he had some... Uh, some idea of what to do at the beginning of the match, but in the corner, he did not have the defense to deal. Yeah, and uh, five delay Tina is a whole nother beast to deal with. Mm -hmm. you're, gonna, you're gonna have to try to block some stuff at the beginning and then opt for a cross canner if you can get the right timing on the right move. Really? Yeah, if you don't have a disjointed hitbox to be able to challenge some of Tina's stuff, you really don't want to try to challenge her on round start. Oh yeah, 5B is a fantastic round start move. Was that, I missed it. Was that a 5B round start? I didn't even see it. I just know that uh, Mayor's going to hit this guy. Oh, he's still backtacking into the corner. Nice jump out. Nice trade. We take those. All right. Gets caught by another JC, though. And here we go again. Ever since the uh, the May update, we've been seeing the bash loops from Tina. Very oh, yeah. strong. Very strong stuff. There was bash loops before, but now they're actually a lot easier, it seems. She can actually convert a lot more stuff now that Do she has a grounded dash. Be the end. Round two. Fight. It goes for a JA right at the beginning, but Arkell backing up. And Banks is getting a lot of buttons right now. Yeah, he's getting caught and, and taking right to the corner right at the beginning. Arkell drops, but 
Doesn't matter. He goes for the other side. And that was enough time for Arcano to block. Oh yeah, he didn't want to try to go the same side because Arcano already had an active hitbox out, so he would have gotten stuffed and punished. Yeah, unfortunately, Tina's are, uh, half super is not invulnerable when coming into the screen, just when leaving it. Oh yeah. Uh, there it is again, back taking into the corner, still doing it! Oh, and there's that 18 frame overhead, and that's a quick 2-0 for Arcano. Like that's that's the, the ghetto save. perfect right there. <laughs> Where to from here? Hey, uh... What match was that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was that was match two. So Arcanel moves on. Very good work from uh, Arcanel. So he's oh, I meant like where are the bracket? Are we? Uh, we're currently in losers round seven. After this will be losers finals. Whoever wins this, Linkster versus Arcanel will be facing off against Bubble Boots in losers finals. Oh no, so, look at that ping. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's tough, but Linkster oh. is at least used to this. Uh, Bubble Boots, Linkster, and Arcano being some of the top players in the beta days. So they've they've played each other a bunch. I don't know whether or not it's a good thing that, you, that they're used to this. I don't know. Why. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think that's a good thing. You don't want to get used to hey, that kind of stuff. <laughs> well, you know, if we ever see each other in the real world, yeah, get, get wrecked, but... <laughs> I hope, anyways. I was yeah. doing. I got. I took some rounds against Arcanel. I was learning. I was learning. And Lexus seems very comfortable in this match, just opting the push block things, waiting his turn. Uh, Bouquet misses, but still a good option. Uh, all the cartwheels being decent options against Team Tian. Well done again. See, uh, Lexus actually going for that uh, normal jump air, so trying to bait out that 70 flip. All right, Linkster probably not going to use any meter. Does not. X in place. Oh, I said Linkster, I meant Tien. <laughs> Slash Arcanel. And Linkster's getting up, open up low here. Tina does have three lows, 2A, 2B, and 2C. And 2C actually moves forward. Yeah, There's one of the rare characters attack. to have all her uh, two crouching moves be lows. There's that cross counter. Finally seeing someone cross counter. There More cross canner, and actually Linkster is fond of cross canner. I've seen a lot of it over the time of watching it. Yeah, you really gotta use cross canner as well as you can. Uh, yeah, when defense is so prioritized in this game and cross canner does so much red health, all you need is one hit to convert that. And not even just a hit, you can get a throw check tech You're chase and get a, a super throw. Yet. You have much to learn. <laughs> and Linkster is losing out trying to bait out those 70 flips. Arkno is just not doing them. I'd like to see Linkster go for a meaty neutral jump JC and just catch both sides. Well, no op opportunity to do that right now. Cross Canner's out of the corner again. I really Still enjoy seeing Cross Canner. Here. Ugh. Flips right back in. That was a flip, right? Linkster is getting pretty much opened up by a 4D uh, flip. That's 18 yeah, frame overhead. He's trying to cross block after air blocking. And Arcano is just going for the overhead. Oh no, this is actually my is gonna... No, no, it's not gonna kill. Oh, no, it's not gonna kill. Thank yes. Cross counter again. <laughs> he still has a lot of meter to work with. The cinnamon roll made that safe, I think. Cinnamon roll actually made it plus. Nice block! Oh no, and there's that fly. Uh, you're not a warrior yet. You have much to learn. We're not biased. We're not biased. Just for the record, is it still uh, Bachelor 3? Uh, it's first to two, yes. <laughs> yeah, we're still, not, we're still in Losers Finals, not best really? to three just yet. And... <laughs> what a 2C! And, and he got that off of the block stun from, from the 6A. Good option. Yeah, Arkano actually often try to press buttons. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. That uptake to uh, Tina's JA was insane. It, it actually makes it way Changed better everything! It like, it is insane now. <laughs> that is overhead, it has a better hitbox, 8 actor frames, 4 frames of startup, and it can cross up. <laughs> Yeah, the only thing it lost was that downward angle, which would have been absolutely even more ridiculous, but... But that's still an option when she goes to level 2, so... Excellent defense from Linkster, and just as I say that, there's another 40 
Man, yeah, commentators yeah. curse much. Yeah. Oh my goodness, and this is gonna be the end of round two. Round bounce. Like a moth to the flame. That's the end of round one anyway. Round two. Round two. Five. Two with T O O. That's not an option select. That's not real. <laughs> Catching the trip now, aren't they coming down with the button and getting opened up by uh, the 2B. Nice flip, could have gone to the cartwheels. Uh, Ooh, catches up with the JB. Yeah. Oh, just pressing that chain and that jab. You can do two jabs in the combo, uh, whipping two jabs. All right, now it's seen his weak point. What do you do on wake up? Like it's going to cross up there. He's catching that 7D. Oh, okay, blocking. Good defense. There's that cross Good it's over now. And and you'll know too that no uh no light button was available for uh Prika right there because of the gift that was on the floor. But you didn't really want to challenge that the uh, cross canner was the way to go. That yeah, cross canner was absolutely the way to go. Who could have came down with a button there, but I'll just say stay. I like the idea. Links are trying to block out the slow flight uh, cross up there. Could just dash back or get super jump backwards. What kind of crash? Oh, oh no. Doesn't, doesn't keep his blocks up. Cross counter. You really want to cross counter. But oh, Link 2 had it. Uh, oh, again no. with the 4D, I think, right? Oh no! <laughs> That'll be the round. That's gonna be it. Super. And, and Arkanel smartly just closing it out with Super, knowing that he all he needed was that last bit of damage. But not well enough. Oh, and Arkanel moves on. This is gonna be rough for Bubble Boots. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't think I've seen Bubble Boots. I'm not sad. Right? I, I've seen it. It's it's not it's not good. Especially he's playing a uh, five delay Tina.